another video. Open eye through the waves cut through me. So today I'm going to do a Netflix book tag and I'm so excited for this. I saw a dash of Ash. Uh, I'm linking her channel in the description. I saw her do this video and it was a while ago but I saw it pop up so I thought why not make this and let's get started. The first question is last book you finished reading and my last book I finished is the Sun is also starred by Nicola Yoon. I'm thinking about doing a book review on this book. Right now I'm making some tags that I think you guys will like, so we will see. A book or books that have been recommended to you because of what you have been reading. I don't really know this one. Or, well, it depends on how you mean. On Goodreads, I've been recommended some books. I don't really know what it is, but booktubers I've seen that has kind of the same reading type as me uh, have recommended some books so that's what I've been reading. I think I'll take Outlander as I'm currently reading. It's so good. I don't know why I haven't picked it up yet but I'm really excited for this series so mm, yeah we will see how this will continue. So hello <laughs> this is me in the future like yeah, a month forward and uh, yeah i said that i loved this book and that i wonder why i never picked it up and that was partly true but also uh, i never finished the book i read half of the book and then i thought it was really boring and i didn't see seem to understand what was coming next and there were a lot of other books that I felt like I would rather read than continue this one. And I bet the book is really good uh, if you read the whole book. But I, I just ain't excited to read it. And yeah, I, I still haven't finished it and I haven't picked it up since. And to be honest, I do not regret it. So yeah, I, I, I just wanted to let you know that I haven't fin finished the book and even though it was amazing uh, in the beginning and I wondered why I never picked it up, I thought it was kind of boring in the middle and yeah, I just wanted to let you know. The last book you bought. Okay, so I actually ordered some books today with my mother and I I ordered seven, which one is for my friend. So I don't really know which one to take, but I ordered the Bloodline series by Rochelle Mead, which I'm so excited for. I read the first book and I loved it, and now I just want to read the whole next bunch. Next question is books that everybody knows about, two that I've read and two I have no interest in reading. Okay, but shall we just start off easy? The Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling. That is one of the two books everyone knows about and that I have read. The second book is The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare and let's just appreciate this book, shall we? Okay, so two popular books I have no interest in reading is, as you probably heard in books I have read, is Divergent by Veronica Roth. And then I will actually say Blue Lily Lily Blue by Maggie Stiefwater. As I said in previous videos, I don't like... I don't like that book series, I don't know why, I just don't, and yeah, I have no interest in reading that book. Okay, so question number five, a funny book. Mm. I will say The Serpent Shadow by Rick Riordan is a funny book. I love the whole King Chronicles, and I think all of those books are really funny. I'm just too lazy to take them all off of my shelf, so I chose The Serpent Shadow. By the way, all of Rick's books are funny to read, so like Minor Shades and Trials of Apollo are also really funny books. Question number six is a character who is a drama queen. Okay, but The Rose Society by Marie Lu. Don't you guys agree who have read it that Adelina is kind of like a drama queen? If you ask me, I think so. She make really small stuff get really big and like, I kind of get her, but I still think she's a kind of drama queen. 
Number seven is a book with cartoons on the cover. Okay, so I don't really have a book with the cartoons as cover. I have this book. Uh, it's the comic uh, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. And yeah, that's a comic, I think. Should, should count because it's a comic book or book series that you want to reread guys this is my question absolutely without a single doubt the underline chronicles by susan collins this is such a blessing this series is amazing it's not even that famous but if you ask me it's collins best work i think it's better than the hunger games and just go read it, please. The first book is named Grey Lord the Overlander, and uh, the Swedish cover is ish, but this is the real cover, and it's beautiful. I want it. Uh, and yeah, this series is amazing. It's not that popular, but it should totally be. You should go read it, right, like, right now, because it's amazing. A non-fiction book you would recommend to everyone. This. I will recommend this. This is All the Right Places by Jennifer Neven and it's a really good book. I hope it's non-fiction. It probably is because otherwise I will be confused. But yeah, this book is really good and I enjoyed it. It's many people who love it, like seriously love it, like Astrid, I know you love it. And I don't really like non-fiction so that's probably why I didn't quite catch it, you know. Question number 10, uh, action-packed book. Okay, so this has to be Prodigy by Marie Lu. So like all of Marie's books are amazing and the Leon trilogy is amazing and all of those books are amazing. So I just picked, um, I just picked Prodigy because I don't have Champion yet. <laughs> I've read Champion but I don't have it in my shop so yeah. And the whole Legend series honestly is so full of action and it's amazing. I would also say Illuminae has a lot of action, so yeah. Okay, so a book that just came out or are coming out really soon that you can't wait for. So this one is so easy. Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. Oh my god, the Lady Midnight book was so good and I just can't wait for Lord of Shadows. Like. I'm seriously dying here. Lady Midnight was my baby and I just... I'm just gonna die reading Lord of Shadows. I haven't read any spoilers because I wanna... Just wanna see everything in that book. So I know Cassandra posts a little bit about them sometimes. And I have none of that because I just want it to be a surprise. And I'm just crazy. I cannot wait to have it in my hands. It's coming out the 23rd of May, if you wonder. Okay, so that was all for this tag. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.